guys, from King Kong RC, I've got their lurker. It's a Sherp. We're going to get this thing opened up and get it set up in this video right here. Let's get to the table. I got my hopes up, guys. Is it a basher? <laughs> we'll soon find out. Let's go. Check it out. <laughs> Some assembly required. All right. Okay, so here we are. Um, all right, uh, motor wires. I guess everything is underneath there. From what I can tell, this has like a tank drive system on it. Tires look good. They're supposed to be 17 millimeter hexes too. Wonder if we can put them on a bouncer or something. Okay, let's open up more. All right, here's the cab, right here. I believe this is gonna be the battery box and the roll bar. Oh, wow, this is metal. Wow, impressive. Uh, got the seats. We've got like some bolts and some other pieces down in there. Uh, ooh, the windows. Nice. I'm going to pop these three screws out. This one, that one, and that one. And I believe that will lift this out so we can see how this thing is built underneath there. There we go. Okay, this is backwards from what I thought. I thought the drives would be at the back, but their drives are actually at the front. It does look like a tank set up. It's got... Belts driving to the rear. Man, I'd have rather had that been the full-on gear drives just because belt slippage and stuff like that. Um, you can look at the tensioners right here. There is adjustment, so I can still tighten those up quite a bit. It's got three 45 turn motors on this thing. The way you wire this up is you put your drive ESC onto these right here. These are your drive motors right here. And this one right here is your turn. And what it is, these drive through three differentials, and that's just simply how the thing drives. So put your drive ESC on this and your, your steering ESC on this. This goes into channel two, this goes into channel one. Also got a lot of slop in the drive line. I want to check the 17 millimeter hexes out. Let's pop this loose. Let's see. Here we go. We got a nut. Let me take that out. Eight millimeters. So I can find that. Um, eight millimeters. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's not going to take much power. I can't put this on my bouncer. Oh, boo. Oh, well, it's probably good for this. Let's see here. Okay, that's a lot smaller than I thought. For a vehicle that's supposed to be in the water, floating around, not only is that a really small bearing, it looks, it's also metal shielded, not rubber sealed. Guess we'll just have to see how that works out, huh? These are the parts that you get with this. If you're going to paint this, now is your chance. I'm just simply gonna leave it like this because I'm probably gonna scratch it up and it'll look just the same. So. Um, it does not come with any electronics, obviously. I'm going to drive with a 1080 and I'm going to steer with a 1060. This is out of a RTR or something. It's, it's the same as a 1060 ESC. So those are what I'm going to start with on that. Let's open up that book. This is what we get out of the package with the book in it. You get that piece right here. Um, yep. And I'm assuming this could be a serial number for it. Not exactly sure. Let's get this opened up. Okay, the assembly of the cab and all that. This is gonna take a little while, okay guys? So in the bottom of the screen, there is a time. Uh, this will be probably really important in, in all honesty. This is what I'm gonna do, the electronics. All this stuff right here is pretty basic, simple. Just follow the instructions and go. 
the electronics, that's where the trick is going to be at. So if you don't want to see this go together, just fast forward to the, the uh, ESCs and that setup because there is no instructions at all about the ESC. But I'm pretty sure I've got all that figured out in my brain. Okay, so I don't see the foot pedal anywhere. So there was one of these that was, was not on there, but I don't really care about the foot pedal too much. Uh, the next part is about the lights in the dash. I, I'm, I'm not doing the lights right now, so I'm gonna skip that step right here. Just put that in a bag and hang on to it. So these are all about the lights up in the dash. So we're gonna start back with right here. At this point in time, this goes down onto here. The motor wires come up into here and the ESC and the receivers, the ESCs and receiver go into there. That drops down into there, something like that. I've got to put the uh, floorboard thing down into here. Oh, my seat didn't stick. But, um, all right, so we'll get that back in there. So at this point, I've got to do some soldering. I'm going to change the ends on those to the normal four millimeters. And I'm going to go ahead and get these set up right here. So I could, up, I could update from that junk right there to some decent stuff like what this one has on it. But this one has a, a JST because apparently I was using it in a lightweight crawler at some point. But anyway, I've got some soldering to do. And then we're going to get back into this. All my wiring is done, and I made this right here and all this so that this is simply plug and play. If the ESC goes bad, I can just pop it out. At the start of this video, my thoughts were this was the drive and these were the steer. I was wrong. These are the drive, and this is the steer. I've already powered it up, and it works. I want you guys to see this, but this piece right here, I kind of got this one done. You put those metal tabs on it because it works with this down here and the battery goes underneath here okay but anyway i'm gonna go and power this thing up while it's up like this you guys got to see this i've got a 3s on it sitting right back there look at this right here all right so the belts aren't going very fast i'm a little bit concerned with how small the pulleys are versus the size of the tires but look at this one 3s This thing is going to be awesome. Okay. I was rubbing the stuff down there. The foam. Now, if you had tracks on this, your speed will be just fine. However, these are a lot larger than the track tires. So this thing is going to move. Chances are good. 2S will be plenty good. Plenty fine. But, uh... That's pretty neat.
Okay, all my wires are tucked down into there. So I've got a little notch cut on this. My on off switch will be right here because this right here flips up. So, and it actually has a holder on it, which are what you guys just saw me put together. So now this whole piece right here actually is held in with these magnets. So in addition to that right there holding up, which I can reach in and push the button, I believe, this whole piece will actually magnet, magnet, unmagnet and come up, which could be interesting because that is actually physically bolted. Well guys, I may have got ahead of myself a little bit. The rest was super simple and very basic. Uh, this thing is way, way better than I expected. It really is. Got the scale hardware bolts and stuff right over here. Uh, this thing is way better than I expected. For real. Let me get that up. It flips forward. Then that uh, window can actually flip outwards. I can do all this here. <laughs> all right, got to get this in here right. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's down into there. That flips out. Got the holders to hold that open. Uh, right here, we've got your battery. And I've just got some Velcro down there. It will hold a full-size battery crossways. So that is beautiful. It simply clicks right down into there. This thing is way nicer than what I expected. For real, I expected something just saw like a, a basher or something, but this thing is nice. Whoo, that was a long build, guys. That was hours. Now, granted, I didn't have to build it, per se, just putting all the windows in, all that stuff like that. Um, for the money, I got a feeling this could be like the best shirt deal on the market. I'm a little bit worried about the belts driving the back though. I'd have much rather had the gearboxes at the back because to me it makes more sense to, you know, your weight's gonna be on the back so easy with that. So, but we'll just have to see how they work out. They do have those adjustments, so we can get that done. Now, order this off of eBay. I will put a link down below. Shipping is high, like 90 or $110, but they ship DHL. So it got here really quick once it shipped. So that's just kind of one of the things. DHL is fast, but they are they are quite more expensive. And this is being uh, pretty much almost 12 pounds. That's a lot. That's a lot to ship really fast. So, but anyway, I'm excited. It's done. Ready to get this thing outside. I will do some lights on it a little bit later, but that's for later, guys. If you're watching this long through this build, hopefully I was able to help you out. Um, I got my hopes up. Guys, check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And I got to put the hubcaps on. Catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.